Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Virgo, so do check out your replacements, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you may have in your chart. Um, once again, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, it all keeps the channel growing, it's much appreciated. And uh, the description box has all the details you need, information on private reads, links to Patreon for full access to all extended, individual access through Vimeo, and um, Instagram link to see photos of the spread. Okay, there we go. What do we got? Two more. The Knight of Discs. Okay, this could be work related. Could be an offer. Slow coming offer, but uh, an offer nonetheless. Something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future. Potential outcome. Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. This, this this forward movement and victory for you, I kind of feel that's in a lot of situations in your life, work, um, finances, it's, you know, everything's going to sort of be victorious, you're going to gain more popularity in whatever you're doing. There's something here about what you thought was ending, uh, there's some sort of growth happening. Um, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Um, I've just tried to move them and the devil popped up, so it could be uh, something to do with Capricorn. You have Capricorn placements, or it could be some sort of karmic situation um, that you thought was done, but it's not quite done yet. But the new beginning is coming. So the Knight of Discs, I think we're talking about career because what you're aware of is the Eight of Discs. You are getting very, very, very skilled at whatever it is you are doing. The Eight of Discs in this deck is literally becoming a master. A master of your craft. What you're not aware of is the lovers. This could be a decision, this could be a partnership. This could be a lover, this could be a relationship as such. In the recent past, it's been strength. I almost kind of take this as courage of doing things on your own terms and getting kind of a, like a a proud aspect here, showing your true strength, showing your true courage. The immediate future is the fool. This is the beginning of a journey. I, I almost feel here there could be a change. It could be a change in living situation. It could be a change of career situation. Because the outcome is the page of discs, the page of pentacles. And I'm almost feeling like you're burying something here. And I can't quite work out whether it's taking one of your skill sets and putting it to bed for a little while, burying it for a later date, or you're branching out within whatever aspect this is. The fool can indicate going in a different direction. So it could be putting something that you're doing on hold. 
Let's see. For others of you, this could be investing in something very new, very new to you that you you it's the start of the journey. But some of the best investments is in self, in study. This could be a complete different direction turnaround. You might be going back to study. Um, For some of you, I don't know whether this is going to be like sort of reaching out to somebody, but I'm getting like you're going to get confirmation about this via somebody else. So maybe somebody that connects to Source is going to relay the message of maybe a different path that you need to look at or invest some time into it there's an element of newness I don't, like a change of direction For some of you, relaying messages from source is your path. Let's see, something recent past. Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, King of Cups and True Love. For some of you there's a worry that you're never going to get that partnership. You will. King of Cups is next to the True Love card. Um, but it comes with the Eight of Cups walking away from kind of Okay, there's a lesson to be learnt by Saturn in this period where it's retrograde in re in respect of how much you give and take. So it could be a situation of if you're the type of person that's all in immediately and you never get that reciprocated, there's a lesson to be learnt there because you've been sent the same types of people until either you stand up for yourself or you do something different. Saturn's one of those taskmasters that um, will send you the same thing until you do something different. So, the Knight of Dis is with the Ten of Wands. This could be taking on some help as well. And taking on some help in regards to work frees you up to maybe look in a different direction what we're aware of is the eight of discs with strength you, you know you, you're doing it by yourself you're uh, you're becoming exceptional or whatever it is you're doing you have great power there what you're not aware of is the lovers with the seven of pentacles so again I almost feel like this planting of the seed could well be this here and it is in relaying information or it could be for some of you the key is 
getting a partner in business or establishing a partnership somewhere to maybe ease the load off you so you can feel a bit more free. I think the key to um, key to life is freedom, isn't it, when it comes to work? You know, to achieve freedom. A lot of people want to achieve financial security. I saw this earlier and I can't think why or who it was. Rich Dad Poor Dad, I think it was. It was something about different mindsets. There was four of them. I forget what they are now. There was like E, S, something. I, D, I think. And the E's, the E type of people were ones that were focused on um, security. You know, dip, dis, despite what you were, whether you were a janitor or a CEO or something like that, you wanted financial security. Whereas the key is financial freedom. It's, you know, it's freedom. Freedom to do as you wish. Um, and you're going to attain that. Because we've got the fool with the ancestor card. You're breaking generational curses, you're breaking generational limitations. Uh, and you're going to get your freedom you seek. It could be... Look up, look up Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's one of his relatively latest ones. Um, I think he's doing some sort of seminar, or he's, he's promoting somebody's seminar. I can't, I can't remember, I apologise. Um, and it's for entrepreneurs. This could be something like that. This could be me relaying this information to you. Um, and, you know, that, that investing in yourself is what pays off. Because the outcome is the page of discs with the Ten of Cups. The investment within yourself brings the ultimate happiness, the ultimate freedom for your family. I skipped one, didn't I? Recent past was strength with the Four of Wands. Again, this, this strength to work hard and build your own foundations, to hold the fortress type of thing. Um, but it, you know, it does weigh on you. So definitely look up that. If I can find it myself, I'll put it in the description box. Um, or um, I'll pin it as a comment. But um, certainly going to help somebody out that. And you, you're going to get your financial freedom that you you deserve. It's your legacy, you know. And you're going to come away very, very happy. You could be seeing 1010 a lot. It's sending out for me here. 1111. 88 for abundance. We have the Eight of Cups as well, 888. So in the extended we're going to look at what this is, this opportunity, this kind of partnership, this kind of possible coming together, um, where to plant the seed. We'll look at it from that angle. Okay, so Virgo you could have in your chart or be dealing with Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, very strong Leo, very strong Gemini. Cancer Pisces. But we've got cups, we've got wands, we've got pentacles. Do we have any swords? Yes we do, nine of swords on the deck. So everybody's here. Virgo, look after yourselves. Uh, if you can join me in the extended, fantastic. If not, uh, let me know if it resonates. Uh, good luck with it. Definitely check out uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, yeah, perfect. Take care.